All right, guys, welcome back into another PGA DFS video. This week, we got the 2018 Travelers Championship. I just want to say thank you, though, first uh, to all you guys. Got to 100 subscribers this week. Got a lot more new views on our video last week. So I just want to say thank you to you guys. Do appreciate it. Um, I Hopefully, you guys had a good week last week. I know I did. It was a really good U.S. Open for us. We missed most of the chalk bombs. Um, missed Rory McIlroy. Didn't play Jason Day. Didn't play Spieth. So that was a really good week. Obviously, we extended our win streak of picking the winner to 15 straight weeks with selecting Brooks Kepka. We also had 7 players in the top 10, 21 players in the top 25, 80% of our players made the cut, with most of the players that missed the cut being our tournament players. And then our value plays did really well. One of the core players I got in later on in the week was Matthew Fitzpatrick, who finished for T12. So it was a really good week. Um, but let's get into the key stats for this week. Uh, we're always going to be looking at course history here. I'm also going to be looking at strokes gain to the green approach. Um, strokes gain putting and then also we're going to be looking at um, on this golf course golfers find themselves at the 125 to 150 yardage range so we're going to be looking at the better or better percentage from that range we're also going to be looking at proximity as well all right getting to the high tier players here you could obviously go with justin thomas or brooks Kepa. they're just in phenomenal form uh, jt really hasn't been a bad play really this whole year he's been t25 or better brooks kepka has just been a beast this year coming off his victory at the u.s open you really only worry about a hangover effect with them i'm going to be jumping back on jordan speed though he is second and birdies are better from that 125 to 150 yardage range 17th in strokes gain and he is the winner last year might be getting a little bit of patrick green in here he's going to be more of a tournament option for me the guy i'm going to be concentrating on the most is going to be paul casey again he's just checking all the boxes he's a cut maker but at this course, he's had a T5, T17, and a 2. And Bryson DeChambeau is just one of those guys who's checking all the boxes for me. He's a course fit. He does, is coming off a, a T25 at this course last year. All right, getting to the mid-tier plays here. Um, I could have included Mark Leishman in this. He does really, he has good course history at this course, so I could have included him. Wanted to keep the player pool down a little bit. Going to be concentrating on Webb Simpson. Um, he's a good course fit, has good course history. He's checking all the boxes. He's coming off a T8 last year and he's also coming off a t10 last week so he's in good form i do really like daniel berger he um missed the playoff or he lost in the playoff last year to jordan speed so i do like that he had t5 the year before that so i like him as well bubba watson is former winner at this course charlie hoffman's a guy who has a good course history much like mark leishman i just think he's in a little bit better current form um, so i could be going with leishman or hoffman kind of as the last tier player in that player pool all right, getting to the low-tier player here. Um, the players that were number one in proximity were Ryan Moore, who was in the mid-tier player, and then also Zach Johnson. I do think Zach Johnson is going to be a good course fit. Um, so is Keegan Bradley. Keegan Bradley's done really well at this course. He's at T8, T25, T39, and a T31. The only question with Keegan is going to be his putter. Brian Harmon, he's just been a really good play for me this whole year. I'm going to be dipping back to the well with him. He's a good course fit, has good course history. Um, Emiliano Grill is the guy I want to touch on, though. He missed the cut last week by one stroke. Um, if it was T70 or better, he would have made it. He's checking all the boxes, and he had T43 here last year. Brandon Steele has really good uh, course history here as well. You could definitely play him. He hasn't had a low a top 25 finish in the last four years. And then Chesson Hadley is a guy that I really do like this year as well. Um, so you could definitely go with him this week as well. Him and Grillo are probably going to be my most on in that um, category. Uh, getting to the tournament plays here though, these are guys that if you're just in that range with that salary left over, you're like, hey, I can definitely fit this guy in there. Um, these are the guys you want to look at here. You could definitely go with Nick Watney. He's uh, made 9 out of 10 straight cuts, so really not bad. Uh, Jim Fierks had a T25 here and a T35 here. Um, not a bad fit. Uh, Kevin Sherman was coming off a T8 last year, and he also is a former winner at this course. Um, the rest of the guys, they're either in good current form or have good course history. Um, might be a course fit. They're just kind of a little off for me. But let's get into the value plays. There is a lot more value plays on this than I wanted. Um, so I'm going to be focused on Pat Perez and Wesley Bryan. They're checking all the boxes for me. They have good course history. And I just really like them. I'm going to have the most ownership on them in this value play range. If you're going below 7K, though, you could go with Tom Hoagie or Patton Kazire. They're really not bad options. I do like Aaron Baddeley this week again somehow. I'm not really sure why. I am sure why. I just... He's just popping for the reasons that really don't make sense. He played well at the U.S. Open last week. Um, he has good course history here as well. It's T35, T48, and a 4 here, which is it's just surprising to me that I'm be playing Aaron Baddeley. Um, Chez Reeve is a guy that's played really well this year. 
He is a good course fit, doesn't have bad course history, so you can play him as well. I'm going to start doing a little bit of an example lineup for you guys. This is what I'm looking at right now. I think these are going to be all players are kind of more of a lock to make the cut. And some of them could end up getting out there and winning it. Keegan's obviously my biggest sweat. If his putter comes around, that's the biggest issue. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Going to be posting more. I've um, got the PGA DFS video coming up next week. and we be doing more fancy football player profiles. Look forward to it, guys. Once again, thank you for listening. And as always, subscribe. Thanks.